one of the biggest mistake human beings do what is the need to understand about the cosmos you are too involved in your traffic rules you forget the vision why the traffic rules are developed if you are too involved in the traffic rules your life will go in either you how many tickets you got and how many times you broke the rules did not get the tickets complete silly game the biggest pleasure you will be having is you broke the rules jumped red light and did not get the ticket biggest problem you will be having is you got the ticket you are too much bothered about just the traffic rules not the vision why the rules are developed if you understand the vision it's not that you will not follow the rules you will follow the rules but you will never even be remembering are loaded by the traffic rules understanding about the vision of the cosmos takes away the load of your so called silly life from you understand whether you are over sex or under sex over joyed or under joyed over pained or under pained over paid or under paid you are right wrong morality good bad everything as long as it is from the silly view of the life your life will be silly if you realize the vision of the cosmos your life will be so beautiful you will evolve something like a cosmic moral it's not that you will break the morals it's not that you will become chaotic no you will evolve you will manifest a space which will be so beautifully moral and so free mature understanding about the cosmos matures you are being understand parama shiva starts with understanding starts with the revelation yat swarupam nijam suddham vyapakam sarvato mukham my real form is true and pure all pervading vyapakam means anywhere the eye is experienced he is there filling you understand in e equal to mc square einstein is trying to maintain the speed of the light as a constant listen carefully speed of the light or time is not constant i'll tell you what is exactly constant consciousness reflecting on the space the fifth dimension of the universe consciousness reflecting is constant in all our consciousness parama shiva is reflecting in all our inner space parama shiva is reflecting that is constant understand this five elements and five dimensions are related length breadth depth time and space earth water fire air and space this five are connected listen carefully when parama shiva cosmic consciousness reflects in your inner space 
that reflection is constant in all beings not speed of the light or time time and speed of the light is not constant but the way super consciousness parama shiva reflects in your inner space is constant means the way cosmic consciousness dances reflects in your pure inner space the way sada shiva dances in your chitampara is constant all the beings who feel aham he exists in that that is the only constant understand from that starts the will persistence manifest the will persistence whoever gets back to that source from which he is reflecting all of them fall into that space called oneness which is constant parama shiva is equivalent to the will persistence decision to look at the source by the reflection the constant in the cosmos is feeling of aham there is nothing in the cosmos which does not feel the aham including stone stavara jangama everything feels the existence of aham when mahadeva parama shiva says vyapakam anything which feels aham he is in that listen carefully length breadth depth time space the pure consciousness reflects on the space that reflection is individual consciousness called aham the frequency of that reflection is constant in everything but the side effect of that reflection will persistence is not constant in everything reflection is constant will persistence is not so based on your will persistence your life is decided are you going to spend 80% of your time in time related or depth related or length related or breadth related existence of you neither length nor breadth or depth or time is low or wrong but you not knowing the source vision your reality which is constant and playing in these other dimensions there is every possibility you will get lost if you know what is constant in you you will not get lost in length breadth depth time and space you can go there and play and come back if you know the vision why the traffic rules are developed even if there is a ticket you will not collapse for it understand i am not trying to brush aside the whole e equal to mc square 
i am not trying to make the whole einstein's words as wrong is theory is as wrong i am not doing fluxy nuxy nihili pilification of albert einstein r is e equal to mc square listen the constant which he claims as constant speed of light or time is not constant the real constant is parama shiva the cosmic consciousness reflecting in your pure inner space chita kasa that is constant if just physics can move from time to space and understand this the whole universe the whole humanity will become enlightened i am only asking you you have come up to time why don't you just move to space you have done a great job by coming up to time move to space then you will understand how the length breadth depth moving into time loses its vary this varying components of heat and time moves into space becomes just knowledge memory understand how bhuma devi earth element length dimension lakshmi devi water element breath dimension durga devi the fire element depth dimension moves into kala devi kalika the time dimension and air dimension and moves into the chitambara the pure reflection of super consciousness understand when the length breadth depth moves into time it loses its quality of temperature when the time moves into space it becomes pure knowledge saraswati maha saraswati pure knowledge is much more than memory if the time component is added to pure knowledge it becomes memory memory is like a documents which is not processed pure memory when it reaches the consciousness it becomes knowledge which is active and alive so memory which is used by consciousness for its existence is knowledge knowledge which is not used by consciousness for its existence or expansion is memory understand universe is not only expanding it is also becoming intense you need to know if it is only expanding any one day it may just explode no it is exploding in the length breadth depth time and it is imploding in consciousness it is microscopic and telescopic 
imploding and exploding if you can implode yourself using your will persistence into your constant which is the reflection of parama shiva in you then you will see implosion and explosion both are your joy your game of life listen carefully implosion into consciousness raises the frequency of your existence that is responsible for explosion of your length breadth depth dimensions implosion or explosion both are spontaneous continuous happening so parama shivas five phases of creation sustenance rejuvenation delusion liberation is constant it is continuous it is spontaneous it is out of his sarva swatantra understand i am repeating i am not fluxy naxi nihili pilification of albert einstein or his theory of e equal to mc square i am only saying what he calls as constant is not constant constant is the next dimension it is in the space not in the time it is not the speed of light in the time dimension it is the speed of consciousness in the space dimension the speed of jyoti of parama shiva in the space dimension is constant not the speed of the light in the time dimension i am only asking you just to move to the next then you will understand the cognition of the constant liberates you completely theoretical physics will become practical spirituality with this one understanding if you just move the constant from time dimension to space dimension the whole theoretical physics will become spiritual reality spiritual enlightenment that's all contemplate on it